Hi, this is Rick, and on this project pack, we're going to use a black 3Z, a 08 Jelly Roll white, a white charcoal pencil, and a tortillon that is reserved for white charcoal. So I'm going to begin with putting dots in the corners using the white charcoal pencil, and then I will connect those dots with a line to make the border. And I tend to turn my tile for the dots and for the border. It just becomes my habit. And now we're going to go to the jelly roll. And we do this quite often is flip the tile over and just get a sense of how the jelly roll works, the lightness of touch, maybe sign, sign your name. And uh, so now you've got a flavor of how that works. And I'm going to begin by finding the middle of each side and just draw a line from the middle of one border to the middle of the other border. I got that one, rotate the tile, sort of guesstimate the center of the side there. And I've found that I like to draw my lines towards me. And for the most part, I will rotate the tile and almost never uh, move my right hand when I'm in the middle of tangling. So we've got a triangle within that triangle. And this is the first stroke of paradox. And it starts from the corner and goes to the line. And I'm now starting in the corner where I met the line. It's a little off the screen. But here we go. Corner to line. Rotate the tile. Corner. Bring it towards me down to the line. And as I come to the line, you notice that I'm just pulling a little bit away now I figured that out. I'm back on the camera. When I start at the corner, it just comes down, and as it gets to the line, it gets just a little bit away from the previous one. So the result is increasingly smaller triangles, and each one is rotated just a little bit within the other. And for this tangle, we're only drawing straight lines. And the paradox, as you can see, is that as you continue it in this way, you end up with a curved line. But even though I'm in these really short lines now, I've found that I prefer to rotate the tile each time, keeps the characteristic of the line the same, and more importantly, I, I keep my place. So there's the first element of paradox. And for the next one, we're going to just do paradox on this tile. So let's make another triangle. And for this triangle, we'll just trace right over the string. And this pen works quite well over the, uh, the charcoal. So now we have a choice of which corner to begin in, in which direction. So I'm going to, I could go on that side, but I'm going to do it on the other side. And I'm going to start in the corner where all those other lines came together. And you'll notice this is mirror image of the first one. Feel free to stop and rewind and look at everything. But the same principle applies. I am always starting at the end of the last stroke. I'm rotating the tile and then starting where the last one ended. So you could imagine that you could actually do this and never lift it up. But see how I match the line there? It sort of is a neat effect to make the where the line pulls away from the other one to be about the same distance at those corners. So just going to continue with dot to line, rotating each time, and a real light touch, 
and also gripping your pen really lightly, turning your tile, and just one straight line after another, drawing it towards myself, rotating the tile, taking my time, and again as we get to finish, I'll turn it each time, but you can see that cool fan shape, what we call a meta shape, which forms when two of those images are next to each other. So you can't really see, you see this diamond shape with these other really cool things, and this is one of the neat aspects of Paradox. So let's do another triangle, and here we go. We're going to restate the border with the gel pen. Put those lines down, and this time we're going to, instead of starting in the corner where all those lines came together, I'm going to start in the corner the uh, right there, and we're going to draw that line down and then come away a bit. So if you were to look at this carefully when it's done, you'll see that this particular triangle is the duplicate of the first center one that we did, whereas the second one that we did just before this one is a mirror image of the center one. So the reason I'm doing this is to give you a flavor of the different meta shapes that take place when you do it in these different ways. So we'll just keep doing those lines one at a time and just focus on the line. Don't focus on, okay, what it's going to be. Just pay attention to each line. And as we get to finish, you can see it's a totally different meta shape, like maybe someone, I don't know, wringing out a striped towel or these muscles or fibers or it's it but it's this again unique meta shape that goes across the two triangles and it compares totally differently from that first fan like shape that we did okay so we've got one more triangle left let's uh let's go into that one and uh, restate the border and while we're doing this, think of which one you want to do. Do you want to do one that's similar to the one in the center? Or do you want to do a uh, the mirror image or restate that one? So I'm going to restate that one just, just, for the, just because. So I'm going to do it from the top and make it look like that twisted, you know, you're trying to wring out a towel. So again start at the do at the corner go to the line and th the logic there is it's easier to land on a line than precisely in the corner and we'll just keep doing this dot to line and then continue that right down into the the final bit there, turning it each time. And we have our, all four of those triangles are now filled with some real cool meta shapes sort of overlapping and interweaving with each other. And I want to put my chop in and I didn't leave much room in the border. And uh, so I'm going to play with uh, a new idea. We'll just toss this one in. It's one of the things you can do with a black tile. It's really cool. So watch this. I'm going to do a circle that goes over everything. And you'll notice I'm not, I make two half circles. So I'm pulling the ink out, letting the ink flow out instead of pushing the ink into the paper. And now here comes sort of like the cool thing. So if you've got a black pen, I'm going to use a uh, Micron 01 for this, is to go in and cover up those white lines that are inside the circle. So I'm just going to carefully cover those up with the ink, and, and they totally disappear. So this is one of those fun layering 
tricks or techniques that you can apply. And I'm guessing you can already think of all different ways that you can uh, explore and do different layering techniques. Just uh, remember to give it uh, some time to dry because that, you know, it's, it's a very absorbent tile and you want to let that dry. And so now I'll go back in with my jelly roll and I'll put my chop in. I have 10, this is my current one, uh, my two initials in two different directions in a circle. And the circle sort of uh, is a nice contrast with all those straight lines. And get that in there, get my orientation. Okay, so we've got the uh, got my chop done, and now let's go back and grab that graphic, um, the white charcoal, and I'm just going to lay down some pretty heavy charcoal right up to the edge of this, all the way, all the way around the uh, that whole triangle. Okay, so we got that around there, and next I'm going to find my white tortillon or tortillon dedicated to the graphite white. And let's, little circles. I'm just, uh, I don't know if you can tell on that, but very lightly just taking circular motions and back and forth motions and just pulling out that white charcoal to soften the edge. And once I get that all around, it's sort of like it's, it's glowing there. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, a little bit more around the chop and sort of give that some accent there. You notice I keep turning my tile, my right hand doesn't move very much. And come back in with the tortillon and just soften that up a little, make it like a little glow around there. And just very lightly, not a lot of pressure here. Okay, I think we, uh, I think we've got something pretty fun here. So we look forward to seeing yours. There's, there's mine, and that's the hashtag. You can uh, put it on the Zentangle Mosaic app, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for playing.